is uh, for four for fifty gigawatt, which is to be achieved by twenty thirty. So I believe that uh, this is going to create more and more value addition in Indian economy. Like it is going to help maybe bring getting the more investors in India uh, because a lot of projects are going to come. And along with this investors, I think a lot of job creations are going to happen. And uh, along as we are going in this renewable segment, I think it is going to reduce our dependency also on the other fossil fuels like coal and other things. So obviously we are going to uh, decrease the ex import of these coal and other things and indirectly or directly it is going to contribute to our Indian economy. So I believe that renewable, yes, it is going to be play a very vital role uh, power gen in the power generation and uh, contributing to the Indian economy. So yes, I think we all know that India is one of the fastest growing economy and uh, demand is going to increase, power demand is going to increase with, uh, every year. So we have to find out some solutions for that and uh, yes, renewable energy is also contributing to that but sometimes we see that solar power is not available around the clock. So we have solar power during the daytime, but we see uh, peak demand comes during the morning time and during the evening time. So if during this time we have some solutions like bi-directional, like uh, we'll say there are many technologies available, like we have battery energy storage solutions where power can be saved in the batteries and can be supplied to feed to the grid during the morning and the evening time. Similarly, uh, we have seen uh, from the hydro uh, also a lot of uh, developer we have seen they are promoting it very aggressively and they are showing their interest in these uh, pumped hydro storage solutions. And along with that new green hydrogen is also uh, getting slowly and gradually I think picking up the speed in India. So with these kind of new technologies which are coming, I feel that we are going to increase the efficiency of the grid and we'll be able to manage the situation when we see that, uh, especially when the peak time comes. So with these kind of technology, I think the new technologies which are coming, we can easily address those kind of challenges. A lot of electrifications are happening, uh, which is definitely going to contribute to economy. Along with that, we can see uh, these days EV, uh, this electric vehicle is also uh, going to pick up the speed. And as I think our government is also focusing on that part, and uh, we need to create more charging infrastructure in that. So if it is done, and uh, along with this EV, I think it is going to contribute to economy as well. And secondly, as you mentioned, that some a uh, lot of buildings are coming so we need to think in the direction that we can uh, like uh, start converting these at least the new buildings into the smart buildings where we focus on using some renewable power by using some solar pumps or maybe some solar heaters on the rooftop of the building so this way i think a uh, lot of things are going to be uh, contributed uh, going to contribute in the renewable industry Majorly, I would say uh, I believe in setting the reasonable targets for my team also and for myself. Uh, definitely, it need to be aggressive. It can't be so lenient that we uh, just easily achieve it. So we keep reasonable target for us. And then I always tell my team to focus on doing the value addition for our customer because we are a product selling company. So we major focus on uh, value addition part. And we also, I keep focusing and keep telling my team that to be transparent with the customer so that they get the confidence and in case any challenges are coming, they can always support us if we are very transparent with the customers. Uh, 
actually uh, we know that this renewable industry is very fast growing industry and we have seen a lot of uh, youngsters are coming and they are very eager to join this renewable industry and sometime what happens in aggression when they join the company they start in uh, start giving sometime any commitments which sometime company or they are not able to honor the commitments so my suggestion to them uh, whenever they are coming or joining any company so they need to be uh, like uh, gradually they should grow and it should not be like they start giving any commitment which is practically not feasible because i have seen a lot of things happening in this industry where some companies or some people commit something in front of customer and later on when it coming about owning or uh, like delivering those commitment then they are just simply failing it so commitment should be given uh, after thinking twice i think that is the best way this uh, new youngsters should go and secondly uh, transparency as i mentioned is very important whenever they are doing either with their uh, leaders or with the customers and they, that transparency is very important along with that in this fast transition phase i always uh, tell even my team also that you need to be very fast in responding to our customers or anywhere like it's not only limited to the customer anywhere where they want so it should be limited to the uh, that part they they need to think uh, again so that uh, we can deliver fast to response to our customers and to their leaders leaders yes uh, this industry is growing so i think it is very good they are on the right track and uh, they should give uh, reasonable commitments that is very important in this industry because otherwise if people start giving some wrong commitments i don't see the i don't think that this uh, with the speed we are growing it will continue because it is very important whenever we are committing something we should honor it otherwise this industry is going to get disturbed like any other industry if anything are not as per the things which are supposed to be made